few months ago I found out that I was going to leave Shanghai. One of the things that I always thought I would miss were was the city and the and how active the city is and how how the people interact with the city. So I decided long ago to make a movie, a little sort of a documentary where I would capture life in the city, uh, just the life in the streets of Shanghai. It would be called the streets of Shanghai, and I would just film around city life, normal city life from the sidewalk perspective, street perspective, uh, the type of thing you would see when you travel around Shanghai. And I think it would be interesting. Uh, like a almost like a snapshot in time 2021 after the pandemic how did Shanghai survive and it would be interesting to see what um, what Shanghai has become and maybe and that obviously for me would be a um, sort of a memory but in a few years time I can look back and, and remember reminisce what uh, what Shanghai was like when I lived here so I've been carrying around my camera for the last few weeks taking tons of shots uh, still shots it's not a I'm not trying to make up a story or anything like that. I'm just trying to capture um, Shanghai life. And hopefully I can turn this into a little movie slash documentary where, where you also get a glimpse uh, of what Shanghai is like and what it would be like to, to live uh, in this amazing city. So I'm, I've been running around the city with my, with my Sony. I, I, I'm filming in 4K, S-Log, so I'm, I'm trying to capture as much quality possible in the movie, trying to frame good shots in specific locations around the city. And the idea is that in the future, when I have a little bit of time, I can edit this into a, into a long feature film. Um, there are a few underlying factors for this movie. Uh, one of them is I want it to be a gradient, to start small, small alleyways, and that's why I'm using my uh, 1635, my wide angle, to capture as much of the alleyways as I can, and the sidewalks, like, to start small and start growing into those big avenues. I still need to go to uh, Pudong, which is the, the newer part of the city, and try to capture some footage there. <laughs> The other uh, underlying factor is that it shouldn't. This movie should not capture anything extraordinary about the city. I just want normal life. I don't want to dwell into any stereotypes. I'm just trying to capture as much normality as possible. This is what we deal with when we live here, and nothing more than that. I have about a hundred and something shots around Shanghai. Probably will still do a trip to Pudong and try to capture some more shots there. Most of them are in Jingen because that's where I live and that's where I'm, I've been carrying my, my camera around. But I will also go to Pudong where the avenues are much larger. Uh, and from all times of the day as well, from early in the morning, so you can see how the city wakes up very slowly and starts building up that power hum and that beautiful noise that we all learn to love when we live in Shanghai. My job today is done. I'm going back home. It's already 8 a.m. I'm going to have a little bit of a breakfast and continue with my day. I'll continue this, this movie of Shanghai streets uh, tomorrow or after tomorrow in the Pudong side of the city. Cheers. So the main objective now is to capture as much footage as I can from these streets the last few days that we have left and do the editing after we leave so hopefully I have enough footage by the end of this exercise to to produce a, a full feature film or a full feature documentary about the streets of Shanghai well uh, stay tuned I'll let you know when it's ready cheers